Okay, well the key design aspects on this is the big deep single concave. It's like having a, uh, a catamaran versus a monohull. It's a lot quicker. There's a lot less, uh, less wetted surface area. So when you have a look at the way I've got concave running all the way down the board, which puts all the curve out on the rail, and then you have a look in here, why I don't use a double concave, and you put it on a 45 degree angle like that, and it's absolutely dead flat. There is no concave that way. And the water actually comes onto the board at a 45 degree angle. So that's something that we've found. I mean, this whole angle that I'm looking at here, this is something that we didn't even realize was there. We've been making boards that go faster and faster, that turn better and better, and it's sometimes it's really hard to, to work out the, uh, the formula that makes it so. Why is it so? I can tell you, there's so many aspects to this, but basically it's the curve on the rail, the flatness in, or the straightness in the rocker. If you have a look at the tail here, there's a whole area from zero here up to here where it's absolutely dead straight. But when you look on the rail, the rail line, the, by, by lifting up the rail line here, we've put that much curve on the rail. So when the board's running in a straight line, it's running on this, and as soon as, as soon as we tip the board, it tips over onto the curve, which is allows us to do really high, high speed hacks, big carves, and you don't lose any speed. And there's no wig out, there's no cavitation. So that's the basis of the tow board. But these boards are going at 80, 80 kilometers an hour, 50 mile an hour, and having to do turns at 50 mile an hour. Whereas a normal surfboard's half that. So, of course, if I can make a surfboard go faster than a normal surfboard right now, I'm incorporating all these design elements so we can go faster and turn harder and, get, and surf parts of the wave that I don't think have been surfed before. So the first step in making a surfboard off this design is what I call the proto, which is like a gun minigun. And uh, here we go, let's have a look at this. So basically, it's got a a narrower tail, it's got a, what I think is a gunny shape, it's got very very similar concave, a nice deep concave there, not as deep as in the in the metros, it's got the same characteristics as having the straight here, it's got the same characteristic of being flat there and this board, I mean I ride a, a 6.3 by 20 and a half by 2 and 5 eighths and I ride that from probably five to 10 feet, you know, and that's, that's sort of Hawaiian size. As big as it gets around at Bells or Winky around here, I only need a 6.3, because with all the speed, I can make any wave, it's just paddling and catching them. And it's a hell of a lot more interesting surfing a, a 6.3 and flying around sections and going at speeds that I've never been before on a, on a conventional gun. So this is, this is the, this is like, I think this, this board's got, a pretty soft first first gear, second, third, fourth, and fifth gear is amazing. Fifth gear is like you, you get up going at speed sometimes, you go, oh my God, your legs are hurting in that, and then you can just lay in a really big hack at high speed and go, wow, that was good. So it's an amazing sensation. So basically after we've, we've done the proto, I go down into the next design, which is a metro, which is a sort of a zero to six foot board. Now these have a little bit more concave, This is a friend of mine, it's a pretty big board. Now, these boards I've really played around with and you can see I'm using up to an inch of concave in the front and it slowly fades out, yeah? Still has the same, the same characteristics as the tow board, has the same te te technical aspects, has all the curve on the rail. These things, first, second and third gear, you, you won't even believe the speed you can go on this. Run sections down and when you want, step back on the tail and you can go vertically straight up and down. And the great thing about this design is, and, and where, I, where we're taking these tow designs is, I've got already at least another two years of developing this. It'll get better and better and better. There's a hell of a lot of guys out there that are older and pretty big guys who used to surf really well and they're not as fit anymore. They don't really want to become a, a longboard rider. 
And this is what I've come up with. I've come up with this really nice plan shape. It's like a big, like a big gun, but it's not. It's, it's an actual hot dog board. This board would be great from zero to six feet, easily. And still has all the same design aspects. And the couple of guys that I've made, made them for, same, same thing, exactly the same. Same, a little bit, this has got a little bit more tail lift off it. Uh, so when you have a look at this whole design I've put together, you really don't need to ride a mini mal or a, a long board or something like this. This will paddle better than a normal board. What, we, what I've found is no one has actually really designed for big guys or tried to go ahead and design the next generation of surfboards. And I've actually found now, like working with uh, Kelly and uh, a couple of the other pros and sort of I've been doing a bit of work with Nick Carroll on producing a smaller model like a, a five, five, nine, five, ten by eighteen and a half by two and a quarter. And I'm just starting to work in there and starting to get some pretty amazing results. And that's to be continued. That's right in motion now.